Hello everyone and welcome to Year 8 Options Evening. My name is Madam David and I'm Head of English and I want to talk to you a little bit about our Key Stage 4 curriculum. Now I know English isn't an option subject but I thought you might want to know a little bit more about our curriculum regardless. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you and talk you through our curriculum offer at Key Stage 4. Year 9 remains a little bit of a hybrid year for us in English. We do start our GCSE content, but we are also making sure that those Key Stage 3 foundation skills are really well embedded this year. If you look, we start with the Gothic unit, a creative writing unit, which our students tend to really enjoy. And we tend to really work on genre within that unit. And again, you can see that this ties into that English language exam with those creative writing skills. We progress into our topics over time. Again, another language skill, but this time thinking about reading. And I will show you some of our resources from that unit in just a moment. And then we move on to our conflict poetry, which is where we have our 15, our first 15 poems from GCSE, from the Power and Conflict Anthology. As there are 15, we recognise that this is a lot for students to study and ultimately they will need to memorise um, quotations from this poem, these poems as they are not allowed to take the anthology into the exam. So in year nine, we start with seven of these poems all linked by the theme of conflict and war. Just to make that transition into GCSE a little bit easier. If I move through to year 10, you can see here are our um, other um, remaining three literature texts. So we start our conflict poetry in year nine. We have Inspector Cause, our first unit in year 10, a really enjoyable unit. Our Shakespeare um, is Macbeth at GCSE. And then we have A Christmas Carol at the beginning of year 11. And this is deliberately placed here, not only due to its complexity, but also as thematically around Christmas time, um, and lots of theatres, when we're not in lockdown, tend to show productions of this novella. So that's something we encourage and we try to get our students to be able to go and see when circumstances allow. In English language, there are two exams, as you can see here, Explorations in Creative Reading and Writing and Writers' Viewpoints and Perspectives. And again, if you glance at the screen, you can see the kind of the colour coding where this is being covered and where these skills are being taught to our students. And you can see our curriculum is so designed that we do, after that Christmas holiday, have quite a chunk of time to revise these topics to ensure that our students can do as well as they possibly can. Just before I finish, as promised, I'm just going to show you some of those resources. You can see from the, this is from that topics over time unit. And this gives you an idea and a sample of some of our lessons. You can see there's a do now activity um, on the board underneath the learning objective and then a reminder of what students need to do in terms of teacher modelling and then you can see at this stage this is quite far within the scheme of work so students would know the content and what's expected of them at this point but you can see that question you can also see a model kind of paragraph on the side of the screen, a reminder of what students need to do, and then our super challenge as well, as well as our timing. So this just gives you a little bit of an insight into a key stage four lesson. And again, there's some green pen assessment there as well. And again, for students to think about what's gone well in their work and any EBIs as well. So I'm going to stop sharing now. And um, I hope that's given you a little bit of an insight into our Key Stage 4 English revision. Of course, if you have any more questions, I'll be available on our virtual open evening to answer those. Of course, your um, children can always ask their English teachers as well if they have any questions, even if that's virtually at the moment via Google Classrooms. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen. Um, and that's it from me.